What is it like negotiating with Jerry Jones? You know, the thing is, it's like a two-step process. First, he's going to talk to your agent and get, you know, test the waters a little bit on the numbers. Once you finalize the numbers, let's say if there's $5 million that needs to be that's left over maybe in guarantee or, you know, money that's going to be cut off the top. And then you're going to sit down with him. There's probably not going to be any agents around, and you're going to be sitting at his desk. The lights are dim with a candle, and it's going to be one of those things where you're like, holy cow, like, what type of meeting is this going to be? And he's not going to smile anymore. He's going to actually going to ask you or actually tell you the contract constituencies. Let's say with Zeke. When I saw him getting off of that plane, I'm like, oh, once he talks to Jerry, it's going to be over. I, and Jerry would probably look at him in his eyes with a crazy stare and say, six years, $90 million. He's probably not going to say any type of guarantee. And he's, and he's going to say, for this, can you empty the bucket for the Dallas Cowboys? And if you say yes, he's not worried about anything else because he knows that, you know, you're going to give it your all. And I think that's what Zeke did when he went in there, and that's why he got the contract he has right now. So you think he did, uh, when he got off the plane, go and have a face-to-face with Jerry? For sure. For sure. For sure. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. (sighs) So I have some other questions. Uh, Is the candle scented, DeMarcus? Is it a scented candle? The candle candle is not scented, but it does have a Dallas Cowboys symbol on it. (laughs) And before the candle actually melts down and it hits the star, you better have your answer. (laughs) (laughs) How many times did you do this? Was it a uh, two? How many times did you re-sign with Dow? Twice. Okay. Was it the same same thing each time? Same, Same thing. thing each time. And he has a suit on, which is very intimidating because you're like, okay, is this like a press conference or what? <laughs> I mean, he has like a nice suit, too, with boots on. With boots? <laughs> ah. <laughs> now, you're not joking, right? This, this no, actually... I'm not joking. I'm serious with you. I'm not joking. And uh, did you go into this saying the second time, all right, I know what happened the first time. I am not going to do X, Y, and Z this time. Did you have that mentality the, going the in? Sec- or? The, the second time I went in there, it was a totally different story. And I walked in there with Jerry Jones, and he says, actually, I didn't say anything. I listened to it. I said, I'm not going to say a word. What does Jerry have to say? He had his suit on, same atmosphere, and he says to Marcus, you get into all your all for the Dallas Cowboys. But I want to let you know that I can't pay you the sixteen million dollars that I owe you. I can't. And I'm gonna release you and let you test the market. If there's something that's out there that maybe I can contest to, but you giving it your all for me and I'm gonna give you an opportunity to go out here and see just where you are in the marketplace. And lo and behold, Denver gives me a big contract, and he couldn't pay me that contract. And he said, you know what, DeMarcus, um, you know, I brought you in here, and you etched your name in the stone for the Dallas Cowboys in the star. And when you retire, will you come back and retire as a Dallas Cowboy? And I'm looking at him in my face, in his face. And I said, yes, because I started my career here, and that's where I'm going to finish my career. And he said, okay. And he gets up. And all of a sudden, you know, his secretary comes in there. I'm like, where, where's he going? And he goes and has a press conference and talk, talk to everyone about releasing me. But I was like, that's the real Jerry Jones that I know. That's why I have so much respect for him, too, because he sits you down and he's honest with you, saying that either I'm going I'm to be able to pay you or I'm not going to be able to pay you. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.